Okay. 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 <laughs> Nailed or Riz Blade. Okay. Okay. Our first. It's not right, uh, the man from. Okay, okay, okay. Oh! What is going on, YouTube? How are you doing? Happy Friday. Today, we are going to pull quite a few shards. This is probably going to be the largest shard opening that I've ever done. We have a 2x for Harima. I don't have Harima on my main account, so I'm definitely going to be going for her. And, um,. I have 555 shards on this account, and I've got 24 here. Let me see where, oh, that's the, okay, we'll go left to right. I got 56 right here, and let's see, oh, I got 50 right here. So I'm gonna start off with the small ones. We're gonna work our way up, and hopefully we get Harima, and I actually kind of really want Rotos on top of that. So we're just pulling blues today. It's a 2X, it's a Harima. It's a great time to pull. Now, before we go ahead and do that, I wanted to go ahead and count up how many shards in total that we're going to be pulling because on the Hell Hades Optimizer, or not the, I'm so used to saying the Hell Hades Optimizer. On the Hell Hades website, there is a raid pack offer. I'm gonna put in however many shards would go here and the HH Gaming estimation for how valuable a shard is, um, the total shards are gonna be, is basically what it's gonna be worth if I were to pay money for it, right? So we have uh, 50 right here, okay? And then we're gonna move on to the right side. I don't know if you guys can see, I have four accounts open. Here it's 24 plus 24. And then let's move on to the next one right here, plus 56. 56 we're at 130 oh that's the same one and then the last one plus 55 plus 555 five, five, okay so we are pulling a total of 685 blue ancient shards on a 2x for a 10x for harima that equates to whoops 685 shards oh i guess they oh I guess Hell Hades considers um, ancient shards to be worth a dollar. So $685. Cool. So we're going to be pulling $685 worth of ancient shards. Let's go ahead and start getting to it. We're already in channel two, so we don't have to check. But let's go ahead and uh, wish me the best. Come on, Harima. I even got, uh, for educational purposes, beer is bad. Do not drink beer. It's not healthy for you. But for educational purposes, and I say that because of YouTube, I am going to be um, showing you guys, for educational purposes, why drinking alcohol is bad. But this is a Kirin Ichiban, which is pretty fitting, I think. Harima is of Japanese um, inspirations, so I thought it was probably one of the most apt alcohols I could uh, currently buy, you know, short of Japanese whiskey. But, you know, your boy is broke. But let me know, guys. Anybody pull anything good? Anybody pull those Harimas? Anybody pull two? Maybe three? Maybe got a plus four going on? Who knows? So we're pulling a bunch of blues right now. We're pulling... I I'm seeing a few epics here. That's okay, but we're not really hoping for any epics unless unless they're uh, on an account. Okay, so this one was pretty dried out. Um, didn't really get anything there. Th I know this one's my wife's account. I'm totally okay with pulling uh, epics that are going to be used for the Makage Fusion. However, on two of my accounts, I already have Makage, so no need for those guys. On my wife's account, though, sorely needed. Sorely needed. My wife does not have... I've been running her account. She doesn't really play anymore, but... You know, I um, I just run it just because it's kind of a waste. She already put some money into it. So there's that sunk uh, sunk cost fallacy over on my end where I'm just like, well, she already, you know, put some money into it. I got to keep it going. I can't just let it die. Because I hate to see a raid account just like go to waste. All right. We have two more. Really, not even a single on a 2x. On a two, imagine if I paid for this. 
Imagine paying for shards. I'm just kidding, I, I did that early on. Alright, so we got nothing there. Okay, we have to pull 56 here. Let's pull 6. We're going to pull 6 here first, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, start doing the 10 pops. We just eat yours all day, we don't never say. I spent a long time running through the fashion cribs. Got my speed teams running fast and swift. Farming all the stages for they mess and shit. And you know that I be out here maxing stats with glyphs. Yeah, my gear good. It's the end game. Yeah, they all know my name for the hood. That's who I claim. H dub the holy wizard. When they see me, they say praise. Bow your head for R and Jesus. No, we give him praise. We just eat shards all day. We don't never say. What's a two X? They just trying to get paid. Took away the sacred from the login days. How many of us still logging in anyway? We just eat shards all day. We don't never say. All right, we have two C's. Does anybody use C's? Okay, so we got three purples, and the rest are blues. No legendaries yet. I was actually expecting to hit a legendary by now. Lock Wayne. I believe Lock Wayne is one of those champions, but I think we're on my other alt account that already has Mikage. Really? That's a lot of blues for a 2x. Dear God. Okay, let's keep it rolling. Hopefully you guys are your guys' pulls are going a lot better than I mine are. Yareg, that's pretty nice. Hmm. I'm pretty sure though, when, once we get to my main account with the 555 shards on it. We're going to be popping off. And I'm starting to... You know, I haven't had a lot of... Um, I haven't really drank in a while. I just... It hasn't really been my my thing as of late. I've been kind of... Because as I'm getting older, I realize I, I can't really drink as, as I used to. I'm actually starting to kind of feel this. So for educational purposes, I'm reminding you guys, it's probably not the best idea to uh, drink alcohol. <laughs> Did you guys know that uh, YouTube actually takes the words that you say in videos and scrubs through it and so there's like an ai that goes through your transcript so anything that you say got a purple anything that you say will be filtered throughout the youtube um system so if you say anything that's um alarming i have to be careful with my words sometimes they're going to demonetize your video or give you a, a strike that's what they did on one of my other videos i said a very specific word but like there was no mal intent behind it. I was just saying like, hey, I'm letting you guys know, don't do this because of X, Y, Z reasons. And they gave me a warning, like a, an actual warning on my account. So it wasn't a YouTube, can I say the word strike? It wasn't an actual strike, but it was a warning. All right, so we're getting a lot of purples here, but I know for sure we're gonna be walking away here with how many, let's see, maybe, I wanna say, I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say we're walking away with at least four yellows today. There's 555 shards. I'm gonna say we're gonna walk away with about four. What do you guys think? Don't cheat right now. Comment down below. I, if you want to, I'm just curious to see who's gonna get it right. I'm not, this isn't one of those, hey, engage with me type. I mean, it kinda is, but it's also not. I genuinely, I genuinely wanna see uh, who thinks I'm gonna get more than four or less than four. Uh, but tell me how many, before the video ends, how many Legos do you think I'm going to end up getting this entire summon session? No cheating. Don't cheat. All right. Come on. Mercy, Mercy, uh, how far from Mercy am I? I don't think I'm that far off. The heck, come on. I pulled quite a bit of uh, blues last time, so what's going on? All right. Still sea of blues here. I hate saying paying the rare tax, but dear God, talk about a rare tax, dude. Jurujin, Neldor Rizblade. Okay, okay, our first. The 
Bahamas Prince, Mr. Nan. So you guys know, and I've been saying this, but I want it to be known that I am probably going to be one of the first content creators to ever talk about it or say it. But I've been saying this for the past, ever since I started streaming on Twitch, which I don't do anymore. But I'm telling you guys, they have to have increased drop rates for past fusions. It has to be the case. There's no way. There's no way Polarium, you know, tinfoil hat conspiracy theory and whatnot there is no way that polarium is not increasing the drop rates for fusion champions mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. okay that's okay we still got 490 left not gonna trip too much but i mean come on so we burned our mercy on iron brago but we gotta stay positive we gotta keep the ball rolling let's move let's move let's move Come on, Harima. You know what? I'm actually not mad ab about Allure. I'll take Allure because we can still plus four her. I don't think I have a plus four Allure yet. I think I got like a plus one or maybe a plus two. Deacon, we can empower him too. I don't know how useful. Actually, that's a good question. Has empowerment for epics been useful to you guys? Or is it just one of those things that was like, oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. But has it really made a difference? Now I'm starting to wonder. Like I'm gonna, I want to empower Fenex for sure. But what do you guys think? Who have you brought to plus four that changed your life? Geomancer, gonna get the plus four. I needed him. There's the big boy, Ilsinia. I recently saw the movie with my my wife last night. Uh, the man from. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. It's not Harima, but it is a Stultus Dragon Bane, which is actually the first defense-based nuker that I have on this account. And that's huge, and I'm, I'm really happy about that because I now have a defense-based nuker in Stultus. Guys, this guy with the double hits on the AoEs with the stun is life-changing. This, <laughs> this LEGO champion is going to change my life. Dude, this is really, really cool because I'm actually kind of short on nukers ever since i'm not gonna get into that but um yeah no uh dragon dragon bane is pretty huge uh, not not harima but i'm still pretty happy about him a1 attacks um an enemy twice if the target is under any debuff each hit decreases the turn meter by 10 percent this guy hits hard aoe twice with a let's see 75 or 65 percent chance of placing a stun book that up um sorry when booked up three turn cooldown and then it'd be a 70% chance with the right masteries on the defense route, I think. Increased defense on this champion three turns, then attacks. He actually summons Draco Morph with this move, sends him out flying. 25% decreased damage, decreased speed also. It's pretty huge. Whenever an enemy attempts to place a weakened debuff, defense down or poison on him, it reflects it back onto the user. Damage increases by five um, for each debuff. So. That is a huge win. I'm definitely going to be taking that. Um, there's Sua Keo. <laughs> so, uh, you know, big shout out to uh, Sua. Ahoy there. Channel 2. At the very least, guys, we're walking away with that one. But we really want a Harima. Is the 10x on? So that's already two, guys. That's already two. And we still have like 400 something left. So. What do you guys think? What was the number that you guys chose? Don't try to change it. By the way, guys, I'm going to remind you, when I do get to 2,000 subs, I'm going to be giving away that account. Um, you can check my community post. It has the entire roster. I've been running that account. I've been working on it. Um, not, not too much because, you know, my time is valuable and I don't want to put too much into something that I'm just going to give away. But I have been running on it. I have been running it. I've been doing the clan boss daily. I've been doing a little bit of... Okay, we can empower Allure even further. I've been doing some dungeon runs here and there. Um, so I have been running the account, just kind of keeping the maintenance up. I don't log in every single day, but 
just to know the account is still getting logged into. Um, but it does have Siffy, Rotos, two Trundas, a Yumiko, a Warlord. Um, yeah, somebody was quitting raid and was like, hey, Burrito, do your thing. And I was like, Afro, thanks. So. All right. Let's see it. All right. We got two of beers. All right, come on. Let's let come on. Where's where's the blues? Where's the blues? But yeah, once I get to 2000 subs, that is what it's getting hot in here. Yeah, but once I get to 2000 subs, I'm going to go ahead and re release the um, giveaway video for that. So, you know, stay tuned for that. I'm not telling you guys to sub, but I am saying, hey, once I reach this milestone, this is going to be my gift to you guys. Let's keep it rolling. Staggy can get the empowerment. He's actually imperative for my uh, hard Fire Knight 10 team. Which, by the way, 100%, I did over, I've done, at this point, I've done easily over 500 runs, but I did do a video where I dropped over 10,000 energy, uh, like 250 runs, super raids, and uh, not a single fail. So yeah, I can verify that is 100%. Even with a 3% um, popping off, it's it uh, it's still, uh, it's still uh, completed. It's a solid run. It's a solid run. I think it's actually one of my most viewed videos. It's like title. Okay, Ugo can get the empowerment. I don't use Ugo for anything, but she can still get it. Ugo can get it. All right, here we go. Come on. This is actually <laughs> this is a really long video. I've never I've never pulled shards this long before. That's crazy. You know what? Remember back in like, I don't know, like, because I started playing Raid in like 2019, 2020, and it was hype whenever like a content creator, you know, uh, I'm talking like way back in, in the day, like when BGE, when um, Incredible John, when when Hell Hades was, wasn't even showing his face, uh, when, when it was just chosen, like the oest of G's, right? when uh, Darth was still uh, making content before there were like a hundred different raid content creators, not complaining, but like, I remember back then, right? Pulling 30 ancient shards was crazy. Now you can pull 600, a thousand plus blue shards. And it's kind of like, all right, let me just start scrolling through the video to find where the actual summons are. And it looks like we hit 300 and we slapped 270 sh uh, shards to pull. So I'm going to go ahead and make some space. Be right back. So, like, actually, it kind of gets to a point where you just start having to feed your three-star champions to other champions just because there's not... There's, like, no room in my uh, vault. I mean, there is room, but at the same time, like, there's there's not. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, so, we're going to upgrade him. I've been feeding all of them to, to Staltus. Watch this. I'm going to feed all these Harriers. Let's feed these Harriers. Got him up to 36. But yeah, I thought I'd... I don't know. Random thought. Wanted to share that. Anybody ever uh, use Staltish Dragonbane in Hydra? Let me know how he does. But anyway... Uh, sorry, but anyway... Let's go ahead and get back to pulling for Harima. Because I really need somebody to go uh, pair with Mikage. You know, I don't really have any damage. Um, just like... Like, how does I don't have any arena damage. Okay. Okay. Fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Fuck. What the fuck is that? Where the fuck is the 2x? 10x. Shit. What? That's fine. Hey, we got the four. I'm pretty sure we're going to get at least like one, maybe two more. Hopefully it's a Harima. Guys, four legendaries. On a 10x for Harima. Now I said it before, and I will say it again. Just because it is a 10x does not mean that you're gonna be guaranteed to um, get the 10x champion. The drop rates are still relatively low. I think um, because like when you when you think about how many champions right are in the pool and they keep adding more champions to the summoning pool. 
you, you have to like, it, it, I'm pretty sure if you're a veteran of Raid, you already know this. I'm not talking to you. I know you know. I don't have to tell you. I know you know. I'm talking to the new people watching this, people who are new, who don't know who I am or, or um, you know, are, are relatively new to Raid. Just because you see a 10x doesn't mean that you're going to be able to get the champion that you want to. Unless, I think it was Hell Hate. Somebody correct me on this. I think Hell Hades or somebody did a video where they really broke it down. And they were like, you would have to pull, I think that it was for like a Kaimar. You would have to pull like 2,000 shards, 2,000 blue shards during a 10x to get a guaranteed 10x champion. As you can see, I don't have 2,000 shards, <laughs> but we, we just summoned two relatively, like pretty much back-to-back -back LEGO champions, right? That's lucky in and of itself, even for a 2x. But it wasn't a 2, uh, it wasn't a, it wasn't a 10x, and they were two pretty shitty champions. Like, sure, an argument could be made for Suzerain Katan. It could be made, but an argument could be made for any champion, really. I don't give a shit about those two champions. Come on! That's just me being jaded. Both the rancid. Who is this? Look at this skunk, dude. Ed. Uh, attacks one enemy twice. Heal reduction on the A1. AoE 100% chance decrease accuracy. Increase the duration of ally buffs. Some comps there. Remove two random debuffs. Heals them by 10%. Okay, increase accuracy. That's nice. Decrease all damage all allies, or sorry, decreases the damage all allies receive from poison debuffs. Okay. Not bad. I don't think he's, I'd have to try him out, but on paper, he doesn't really seem that bad. But come on. I need more Legos. If you're going to give me somebody who is not Harima, at the very least, give me Rodos. Let me plus three my Rodos. Come on. R Rodos. Get in here, bro. Come on, man. Get in here, bro. <laughs> My wife's probably in, in the in the room all the way over there. And she's like, why is he yelling so much? Nah, she already knows. She loves me. I love her. I love my wife. Uh, this morning, we went to the donut shop to get um, donuts for work. We brought donuts to, to work today. And I, I forgot where I was going with this story. But all right, come on, uh, dude. I need Legos. Give me, give me Harima or Rodos. Come on, I bought, I bought this beer for you, Harima. Come on, let's do this. Get in my account, Harima. Come home. Don't, don't do this to me. Don't. I saved all of these shards free to play, by the way. That remains to be kind of seen, because I am a content creator. You know. I'll put it like this. I did not take any money out of my wallet to put into Raid. I haven't bought anything. I haven't bought any packs since um, Nergigante Archer. I haven't bought anything since Nergigante, uh, Nergigante Archer. When I failed that, that champion uh, training event, I lost that Kraken. I was done. I was like, I'm not, I'm not spending money anymore in raid. Haven't spent since. Come on, more Legos, more lightning. This can't be it. I can't go out like this. I cannot go out with a whimper. And now. Lockwain is one of those champions for Makage, right? Because I've been pulling a lot of Lockwains. I remember for the longest time when I needed Makage, he wasn't showing up. And now all of a sudden, he's showing up. I keep seeing Lumbrer too. All right, come on. Rodos, Harima, one of the two. Did I hit the... I'm lacking silver. So actually, Suzerain, Katan, and Skartosis are new champions. From the champion or the champion collection perspective, that's a win. I'll take it. But not her Harima, not a Harima. I have 80 shards left. Now I've got 70. Let's see if this fifth legendary, if 
she pops out, is going to be a Harima. If she pops out, is a legendary champion. Come on. Give it to me. Bring it home. Have you guys seen the new Deadpool? Okay, okay. Fuck! Sorry. I'm so sorry. Astrolith. J wonderful. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Five legendary champions on a 10x. Damn, I really thought. No, no, we still have like what, 50 shards left? We got 50 left. It's okay. We got 50. I got a thousand gems. Maybe I might use it for the last 10 shards. Cause you know, crazier things have happened. Crazier things have happened. But let's see if this last 50. 30 is gonna have it. Come on, Harima. Come on. Don't do this to me, dude. Are you gonna stay away from me for this long? 555 shards on a 2x 10x. For you, Harima. For you! I do this for you! Another Neldor. We'll take that. Not mad about that. Still no Harima. Come on. Wuji and <sighs> well you guys already know how this goes if I don't feel satisfied we start going to this um, to the sacred shards let's go we have 40 let's keep going let's see how much how much gold we can get I don't know how many we're gonna get, but you know, crazier things have happened. So come on, we're gonna keep going till we get gold. Where were you when I needed you? Why running on the silken? Come on. Imagine this has Harima. All right, that's three. Defiled sinner. Defiled is such a weird word. It's such a dirty word. All right, Siege Hulk, don't need you. And let's see, not, it's not yellow. It's not yellow. It's not yellow. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Let's keep going. Let's, we don't stop here. You guys already know. You guys already know how I do. You already know we're gonna keep going let's keep going because i'm not satisfied we are not satisfied here we don't we're never satisfied and that's kind of the problem here right good thing i didn't pay for these shards all right so that's two let's just pull one more maybe okay that was three w one more from here right because we still want to stay within striking right striking range striking who the who the fuck is this Who's this? Educational purposes. Good decisions are hardly ever made. But sometimes you can find solutions at the bottom of one of these. I drink and I know things. All right, let's keep going. Dirandil. That's one. This is two. Come on, give it to me. I'm at 30,000, 31,000, something like that. Right now on champion training or uh, champion chase, I was not intending to take first place or anything. I kind of was just trying to do my own thing, but uh, you know, if we're in first place, might as well push a little bit further, try to take first, because I've never actually had relentless mythical gear. I'd be interested to see. Interested, I would be interested to see if that actually produces any anything good. Relentless gear is pretty good. 
I don't know if it's the best. I'd say it's like A tier. I'd say it was an A tier set. What do you guys think? An A tier set? I don't think it's like life changing. It's pretty good though. All right. As I said prior, we want to make sure we're staying within striking range of a guaranteed, which is 20 shards. So we're only going to be pulling up until 20 shards. After 20 shards, I'm going to call it a day. We're calling it quits. That's it. We're not going to go any further than that. This is it. This is the last one. Last one. Hand to this one. This right here. This, this one right here. This is the last one. Hand to this. Hold on. Wait, sorry. I, I didn't say it yet, so it doesn't count. It doesn't count. We have 18 shards left. This, this one right here. I'm going to give it one more, one more, one more. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. So after this one, all right. This one right here is the last one. We're not pulling after the next one. The next one is the last one. 15 in deep. We're 15 shards deep. And here it is. Here is... Oh, <laughs> oh son of a... RNG Jesus, Valerium Gods, I know that I haven't prayed to you in a long, long time. I know we haven't talked in a long, long, long time, but if you could please stop shitting on me please all right let's keep going i'm not satisfied yet we're gonna keep going come on give me something good toragi is pretty good what's going on here lacking silver again tila gorman is a new champion for me so like in terms of again champion collection that's kind of a win but let's go come on rng god give it to me dude come on there's no way you're going to leave me and my viewers hanging like this. Come on. We have 12. We have 12. I think this is enough for one. By the way, the whole how many shards am I, am I going to... Or how many legendaries am I going to get? That only counted for the blue shards. So these legendaries that you're seeing coming from the, um, from the yellows don't count. So if you commented like, oh, you're going to get four or five or something like that. And you see me pulling from here. It doesn't, it doesn't count. So, you know. Just letting you guys know. All right, come on, keep going. Let's go. We're gonna take this. We're taking it. We're gonna take Fang. Oh no, uh, sorry, uh, Spider, who actually has the fastest animation, I think, for your, for this decreased defense and weaken. All right, let's keep going. Come on, keep going. Okay, more epics, guys. Also, this is really stupid. Do not do this. This is off of a 2x this is not on a 2x sorry what am i saying this is not during a 2x you probably don't want to pull your shards when it's not a 2x you don't want to be pulling your shards when it's not a guaranteed i guarantee you i'm probably gonna regret this watch palladium's gonna come out with oh there's a guaranteed for xyz champion or whatever and i'm not gonna have the shards for it and i'm definitely not gonna be buying anything for it so um you know it's a big RIP to me. Do not do what I'm doing right now. This is not a good decision. But, you know, again, educational purposes. Wither the crown. That is actually a new one on this account. So, uh, yeah, this is a new one. Do I need her for anything? I don't know. It's a new one. But she's actually pretty cool. Attacks all enemies. Continuous heal. Increased defense. A very tanky champion. Good with survivability, three turn cooldown, remove all debuffs with a big heal, continuous heal on an ally with the lowest HP at the start of this turn. Like just an overall really good champion for um, a, a lot of content. In fact, in, she's got multiple arms. Oh, she's tied up in the back. I love my wife. Um, but yeah, with the crown, take that. Two W's, we'll take it. And you know what? We'll leave it there. Sing along while I pop a bottle off a yacht chain swinging, clang clang, and it costs a lot.